I, I really didn't realize how bad my hair looked, but, uh, whew. All right, whatever. What's up, guys? My name is Ryan. My pronouns are they, he, and this is my second YouTube video. I happen to be filming this maybe two hours before I have to get a fucking root canal. So basically, just know that my back tooth is messy. I thought I might do my makeup just to cheer myself up before I go, because obviously they're just gonna be in this region, so I don't really have to worry about down here. Because again, pandemic makeup, what's up? But hey, we just got the vaccine approved. I'm probably gonna edit this while I'm recovering. Anyway, today I actually decided to, you know, ask on Instagram, like, hey, do you guys have any suggestions? Because I don't. So my friend Percy said forest nymph, and I thought that could be kind of cool. Um, I'm ba I basically looked up forest nymph on Pinterest, and then I was like, green bet. So I don't wear a lot of green, but I do have some green, so. I'm gonna, um, I, I picked out an outfit before I started filming and I kind of filmed my closet with, um, on my phone, but yeah, so I picked out an outfit, I picked out some possibilities for clothes, I basically went with these green pants that I'm wearing right now, Ooh. they're these corduroy pants that I thrifted. And I'm also going for like this green checkered kind of like 80s blazer that I have because it's a little bigger than me. And then I'm also going to go for like a soft cream colored either blouse or I might even go for like this dress that I have. But I'm going to see how we feel. We're going to be trying to keep it androgynous here. I'm not a super androgynous looking person, but I'm going to try. I, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to try and make this work. I'm not going to change my shirt while I'm putting on my makeup because I know I'm gonna get makeup on this and if I decide to wear something like cream colored and nice I'm literally gonna sweat through it before I finish my makeup so also I have a different setup this time you can't tell <laughs> but if you watched my last video which it's not required I was looking this way a lot and like I couldn't film myself very well and I learned from the first time I tried to film a YouTube video which was not the one I posted it worked better for me to face this way and then zoom in the camera this way so it just like Hits me right on the cheek. So I have my cool mirror here, which is why I'm all lit up from all sides. And I got all my makeup. And I'm gonna put in my headphones, maybe. Either way, I'm gonna listen to music, but you won't be able to hear it. So I'm gonna do a voiceover now. What's up, voiceover Ryan here. I'm currently sitting in my bathroom in the dark so that I don't turn on the ceiling fan and it makes a sound. Also, prefacing this again, I'm wearing my Apple earbuds. So that's why this voiceover sounds amazing and show-stopping and you'll probably hear a lot of mic pops. Anyway, I also noticed while trimming these clips for this video that I thumbs up almost every time I finished something. So I'm gonna have a little counter going on for how many times I thumbs up the camera. Last thing before I start, you'll see me jamming a lot during this video and I'm not apologizing for that but I had my earbuds in and I really thought I was pulling something by singing out loud while the earbuds were in so I get so I'm sorry for the singing. <laughs> anyway, to actually get started on this video, I'm gonna be moisturizing with my CeraVe moisturizing cream, just putting that all over my face because it will be going under a mask and also under a dentist glove. So I'm gonna I'm a need that moisture. Then I'm going in with this Milani Prime Light primer in 02 Prime Light and I'm just putting that on my hand and using the same dot method that I used to put on my foundation to also put on the primer. I added way too much onto my hand and you do not need that much. And then I just put it all around the places that would most likely have makeup on it. And I just put it around my whole face because honestly, I had no idea what I was going to do for this look. Then I put on my Pacifica Alight Clean Foundation in the shade 39 CF and it's Cool Fair. So I just put a little bit of that on my hand and put it in dots around my eye. I ran out so I had to put a little bit more, but I essentially just do that and then I go in with my Real Techniques sponge and blend it out, blend it into my forehead, blend it down on my cheeks, just blend it so that it 
doesn't look like I just applied it in dots. Next I'm going in with my e.l.f. HD powder. It's the loose one in sheer and I'm just putting a little bit of that into the lid right before I apply my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in fair rose and I'm just applying a little bit under the eyes before I blend it out and then immediately go in packing it with that loose powder, no creases under these eyes. For this look, it mattered a little bit, but not too much. And after this, I was like, should I even try and do my eyebrows? And then I was like, yeah, but they're just gonna be a little small. So that's all right. I went in with this Benefit Goof, Goof Proof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil with the number six on the back. I don't know if that's the right way to show you the shade, but it's essentially just like a an eyebrow pencil with a little angle on it. I started drawing the general shape up. I'm stopping about halfway up, so that is just a small, almost exclamation point shape. It looks like Spock. I'm aware Spock knew what was up. I'm not filling them all the way in either. I'm just trying to make sure that they are generally the same thickness and that they both have enough color in them. Then I'm taking this e.l.f. small angled brush and I'm blending out the insides of the brow so that it's almost an ombre effect. I'm not really worried about how that blending looks right now. I'm just trying to get the general shape and color set. See, cause now I'm going back in with my Real Technique sponge and I'm blending out the inner part of the eyebrow so that the ombre really takes effect. And then I'm going back in with that angled brush and just making sure that it all looks good to me. I'm just going back and forth between those two tools to make sure that it looks right. I also keep making this face that is eerily close to that angry dog meme and it's just so I can kind of tell if both of the eyebrows look the same and are angled in the same way. Then I'm going in with another brow pencil similar to the Benefit one. It's a Winky Lux unibrow pencil. I don't know what shade it is, but somebody got an Ipsy box and just was like, hey, do you want this brow pencil? And I was like, sure. The point is it's a dark color in the same range as the Benefit pencil that I was using. I'm just using it on the outer part of the eyebrow to shade them and give them a little bit more definition and hope that they also match my roots a little bit more. Then I'm going in with that angled brush once again just blending all those colors together and then this is what they ended up looking like. Then I'm going back in with my e.l.f. concealer just putting a little bit on my hand and then I'm using this double-sided brush but I'm only using the concealer end and I'm, I'm shifting the lights here and I'm trying to make sure you can see me, but it honestly just kind of looks like I'm having a little party, so... Now I'm starting to carve out the shape of my brows using the concealer. I actually wanted them to be a little smaller than I made them, so I'm first just making sure that I'm defining them with the concealer, and then I'm going in and very slowly shaving off the bottom and the top half until it's as small on the ends as I want it to be. And I'm going and switching in between using the concealer and blending it out with my Real Technique sponge. And I just want you to know that doing my eyebrows probably takes the longest out of any step in my whole makeup routine. I had to speed this up like tenfold because it was taking so long, but I swear it's worth it. I'm just doing that same like scrunching my nose, angry dog face and making sure that they're small and somewhat even. My eyebrow ridge tends to make my eyebrows look kind of uneven because one tends to be angled up into almost like an evil villain kind of eyebrow all the time even though I don't have any eyebrows. So I try and make them as even as I possibly can while also working with the conditions of my face. And this was a moment where I got really mad because I noticed that other people had swiped up on my story and one of my coworkers told me to do a Harry Styles inspired look and I, mm, I would have done it, but you know what? Like we're already, we're doing it. We're committing to this one. We're still fixing the eyebrows and we're not gonna complain. We're not gonna complain. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. And just like that, we're done with the eyebrows. I'm going in, I don't even know why I bothered trying to show you, but this is just like an e.l.f. It looks like a blush brush or something like that. I'm just packing on some pressed powder with that brush instead of the denser brush that I use for under my eyes, just so I don't unintentionally smear the product. This is what they look like. Then I'm going in with this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer in sheer, and I'm just applying it with the wand that they gave me all over my eyes, and then blending it out with my fingers. 
Then I'm reaching for this pathetically broken Sugar Pill Press Shadow in the shade Taco. If Sugar Pill wanted to send me a replacement, I'm your biggest fan. I love you. I will use it every day. Because this is just flat out embarrassing. But, uh, you know. Anyway, I'm going to use what I have. I'm going to pack it on with the other side of that two-sided brush that I was talking about earlier. I'm just putting it on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I was I was winging this whole thing. I I had no idea what I was doing, so I just started doing what I normally do for my makeup, and then I just went from there. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm stalling, and this is me cleaning off my palette, so it doesn't look so gross. But this is a Marc Jacobs palette, an iconic palette in 750 Editorial. I'm going in with Take a Memo, which is on the far left. I'm just putting that on the rest of my eye. Can you tell I was stalling? I literally just took two white and off-white colors and put them on my lid. This is not revolutionary makeup, okay? <laughs> Play Harry Styles on Spotify. Why would you start with that? What the fuck, Siri? Sorry, I just thought that was funny, but um, to continue with the makeup in this video, I'm going in with my My Melody Wet n Wild palette. It's got all these really nice fun colors, but I'm going for the neutral warm brown on the bottom there. And I'm going in with this eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. It's just a packing brush, and I have so many of these, so I tend to use them for different colors. I'm just going in with that on the crease, stalling for time. I don't really know what this little wing thing is but you know i'm going along with it then i'm going in with this elf crease brush i mixed it up last time this one has a more fluffy round end but the point is i'm just blending out that outer corner now and after a bunch of blending this is what i ended up with i ended up going back in with my real technique sponge and kind of trying to blend out more of that outer part so that it doesn't just look super packed on to the end of my eye and like the end of my face and now i really had no idea what i was doing i went back on pinterest and i I was like, oh, okay, maybe I have a little bit of an idea. So now I'm going in with this, I don't wanna talk about it. It's a really old Smashbox palette. The point is, it's got some green in there. That's all you need to know. This palette is way too old for consumption. I don't even know what it's called, Cover Shot Bold Eye Palette? Yeah, I don't know. Point is, it's green, it's green. I've had this palette forever. Don't use old eyeshadow like I'm doing. I'm using another one of those e.l.f. packing brushes and I'm just putting it on the inner, part of my nose. Almost reminiscent of that one girl from Willy Wonka where she like eats a blueberry and it only gets somehow like her nose pretty blue. She eats a blueberry. Does she eat a blueberry? I don't even know. Uh, whatever. So I'm, I'm doing that look with this green and it ended up looking horrible because again this eyeshadow was old but I'm going in with this e.l.f. blending brush. It's a little more dense than the other blending brushes that I have, and I'm just trying to make this work. My camera ended up needing to be charged, so I went and charged it and added a little bit more green eyeshadow, and this is what it looked like. To try and save it a little bit, I went in with this Sugar Pill Fun Size palette, and I went in with the shade Twitch on the middle row, and I just added that over the green, and that was helping a lot more. I was switching in between that packing brush and the denser blending brush, and I just ended up bringing the shadow down onto my, like, under eye, my, my bags, and I was trying to emulate what I remembered from those violet pictures without actually looking at them, but this is what I ended up with. I think it turned out pretty okay, I don't know about you. And I'm going back in with that Marc Jacobs palette and I'm going in with the shade We'll See. And I'm putting that just on the upper crease of my eye. And then I'm using the e.l.f. blending brush that I have, which is a little more dense and flat. And I'm just blending that up into my brow bone. After no joke, probably like a minute or two of blending, this is what I ended up with. I then went in with that light cream color from the Marc Jacobs palette once again, just to redefine that like very low key smoky eye thing that I'm going for. Then I'm taking that crease brush from e.l.f. once again, and I'm blending that out into the darker shadow. Then I'm taking this darker shade called Everywhere from the Marc Jacobs palette with another one of my packing brushes putting it just a little bit into the corners of my eyes just a little bit and then I'm blending it out 
making sure to start small and then go big so that it doesn't get all muddy. Right here I'm using the crease brush, the like bigger fluffier one, but I ended up switching back to the actual e.l.f. blending brush just because it was flat and I felt like I could control where the product was being spread more, but that's just a me thing, that's just me describing the clip. It's not required. <laughs> And here I am putting a little bit more of that shade into my crease. I say a little, but I, I basically was just like, yeah, so I'm good now. And I drew these like scene queen looking <laughs> wings. I'm good now. Um. <laughs> and that's it. Taking that same blending brush, trying to blend it mostly into my crease and then out so that as little product as possible will be on the outside of my eye. But you know, I can't help it. Um, it doesn't look great right now, but you already know I'm going back in with that Real Technique sponge, so we don't even have to worry about it. I'm essentially just going back and forth between using the brushes and the Real Technique sponge to get that blend the way I like it. Now I'm going back in with that Smashbox green that I used before and putting that just in the crease of my eye. And then this is when I realized that this Marc Jacobs palette that I had had a dark green that I hadn't been using at all. So the shade is called Enviously. I literally could not believe my students stupidity. What a million sugar! It didn't stop me from singing though apparently. So yeah, that was that was the shade I was needing. But I put that in the crease right over the green that I put there before and I used that. Yeah, I was really hoping it was gonna work. I was using that more dense blending brush from e.l.f. that I have just to blend it into the crease. I say I was worried about it being muddy, but this is like a forest nymph look. So I guess this is like the best time for things to look muddy. I think it looked Okay, so okay that I went back in with my real technique sponge. We already know the drill. I literally just blended this for so long. The amount of footage I have of just me blending my eyeshadow is ridiculous. Once I was at a place I was comfortable with and happy with, I finally went just back in with that cream colored shade from the Marc Jacobs palette and redefined the lighter parts of my eye. And then I went back in with a blending brush and blended all of that together. So then this is what that ended up looking like. Then I decided to use that same shade and try and highlight a little bit under my eyebrows because they started to feel like they got muddied under all of that shadow. And then afterwards, I just took that same e.l.f. blush brush that I used earlier for the transparent powder to brush off all the excess powder on my cheeks. And then I was trying to figure out what to do next and then I was like oh I should add blush so then I did I grabbed my dream queen Too Faced palette that's super old like the point is it just has these two blushes in it that I use I swirl my brush into both of them and then I start on the back part of my cheekbone and then I start blending it out that way so that I'm not just putting a lot on the apples of my cheeks all at once I'm also trying to blend that into the darker shadow as well so that it looks nice I don't know how to put that I'm just blending it into the darker shadow so I'm going back in with my real technique sponge and I'm blending it out and then I'm applying more as I go and I'm just building it up and then eventually I get to a place that I like. And then we finally get to introduce a new product onto the stage. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty body highlighter in how many carats? And it looks that way because I swirl it with my finger to get product, but I realized while I was filming this that maybe showing you swirling my finger on the yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna apply that under my brow bone and I'm just putting that under both eyebrows like where the point ends and then I'm also gonna put some on my nose bridge and then kind of feather it out so that that green part gets more focus. Then I'm going back in with that Winky Lux darker brow pencil to define the ends of my eyebrows one more time so that all of my hard eyebrow work did not go to waste and then finally Finally, we are on to the main stage event, which is the eyeliner. It's not that exciting this time, but I am still going back in with that NYX Epic Wear liner in white. And I was trying to figure out what I was going to do, but I ended up kind of going for an under eye look. I see a lot of cosplayers use this trick to make their eyes appear bigger, so I am going to try it. I've tried it before, this isn't my first time, but this liner is still really hard to work with because it like cakes onto my bottom lashes. However, I'm drawing this shape starting from the middle of my eye, almost like a upside down wing. And then I'm doing that on both eyes. I'm making sure to 
tilt my head down while I'm doing this as well so that I try not to get it on my lashes while I'm doing it. And then because it just got everywhere, I decided to put the product on top of my lashes as well because I didn't have a white mascara. After sitting and focusing for a while, this is what it looked like up close. I leaned away from the camera just to make sure it didn't look too weird and it looked how I wanted it to, so I was pretty excited. Then I went back in with that Marc Jacobs palette. I went with a brown color that was in there, similar to the one in the Wet n Wild My Melody palette. And I went in with that angled brush that I used for my eyebrows and I put that brown shadow under the white line just to emphasize it, to blend it in with everything else, etc. Then I grabbed the My Melody palette and I went in with that white just to lock in the white eyeshadow and keep it from creasing slash keep it from getting everywhere. And after touching it up again with the white liner and the brown shadows and all of that, I then took my angled brush and dipped it into that dark green shadow from the Marc Jacobs palette and put that under the white lines as well. And I ended up rounding the outside of those white lines just a little bit. Then I really had to trust myself and I was going to put white dots everywhere. Not really sure why, but I decided to go for it. At first it was only going to be like white freckles onto the nose and then it just turned into a bigger thing but it kind of reminded me of like fairies and sparkles and all that kind of cool stuff. I think you can tell that this took a while because this footage is sped up but I think the main takeaway from this video is that these kinds of looks take time and this wasn't even a huge look look. Does that make sense? I had to stop myself after a while to make sure I wasn't going overboard and that I still liked it. Once it looked like this and I was pretty happy with it, I went in with my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, my Tried and True, and I decided to do a little cat eye only on the inner corner of my eye and connect it with the darker shadow on the bottom of the white eyeliner. And just to reiterate on that whole time thing, this literally took so long because because they ended up being uneven and then I had to like go back again and make them more even. And you can't really tell because the way I edit this video it looks like I just do everything well on purpose but like that is definitely not the case. And after spending a literal millennium on doing this I ended up with something that looked like this. And then I went back in with my 25 millimeter Jeff Bezos lashes and I'm picking off the lash glue just like normal and I applied this duo fast drying lash glue with like this flat applicator and I did let it get tacky for a little bit but because this lash glue is just so fast I didn't really need to wait all that long which is great because I don't have any patience when it comes to lash glue and then I just put it on and I'm adjusting the inner corners and the outer corners making sure it's all sticking but it just made it all come together it looks so good and then I'm going in with these lashes that I also got off of jeffbezos.com and I actually just bought them just to cut them up for these little individual lashes. I find buying those individual lashes doesn't always give me the fullness in my bottom lashes that I look for, but I ended up putting three on each side of my eye and it just helped it look very whimsical and very cute. And with that, the makeup portion is done. Look at that. I honestly think it looks really cute. I don't know how well I did for a forest nymph, but for cute green makeup realness, I think I did good. <laughs> now for outfits, this was the first one I ended up teasing and putting together eventually. I don't know how much I liked it. I think the idea is cute, but for execution, I don't know how well I did. I just put on these like white angel earrings that I had and put on a white belt in that cream blouse. I took this before I had to go to the dentist, so I wasn't really giving it my best in terms of the posing department. But after I went to the dentist, I came back and I ended up putting on that cream dress that I talked about. I put the blazer over it just because it was cold, but honestly, I think the dress works out a little bit better. I also put on some chains and some different earrings and, and I like that one a lot more. I think it's a lot more like cute and whimsical and especially the sleeves that remind me of like flower petals, which I think is kind of cool. And I think the makeup came together really well. I think it looks very cute and it did stay intact during the dentist trip. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, um, thanks for withstanding the voiceover portion of this. Uh, back to real Ryan. All right, here's my outro. Uh, sorry if it's windy and loud out here. I'm on my balcony. Also, if I don't make any any sense. I cannot feel the other half of my tongue right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun doing this. I, I had a lot of fun thinking about the outfits. This wasn't necessarily outside of my comfort zone, but I based it off of something that was off my, out of my comfort zone. Does that make sense? This is, this is what I got. I, I'm not even, I'm not even wearing, I'm not wearing shoes. These are Pixar socks from Target. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.